Hello everyone and welcome to my channel update for November 2016. Some of you may have noticed that I didn't do an update for October and that is because I was just so busy that I ended up not being able to find the time. Skyrim Special Edition was released during the week I would have normally done a channel update and I was rushing to get content for that out as soon as possible. Anyway, so we've got a lot to talk about this time. So much has happened this month and toward the end of last month too. As you all are aware, I'm sure, Skyrim Special Edition was released and with modding capability on all platforms too. I've already le released two mod spotlight videos in my new Skyrim mod series. From now on, these will be uploaded on Fridays. However, they will now also share that slot with the new Fallout 4 mod spotlight. Because, you know, Fallout 4 now has mods for PS4 too, finally. But there just aren't enough hours in the day and days in the week for me to do two mod spotlights per week. The mod spotlights are actually quite time consuming to make, and so Far, so far, each one has taken me no less than a week to complete. I first have to download and fully test the mod, which requires many hours of gameplay usually. And then I have to record the footage for it, and this is several more hours of gameplay, especially if I have to do comparison shots, so you can see how the mod compares to the original game. That basically means I have to record everything twice. Then I have to write a script, record my commentary, and piece together all the footage I recorded, which sometimes is hours worth that I have to wade through just to find a few minutes of, or seconds here and there. Then adding music, text, annotations, and whatever else, it's a huge deal. So yeah, all that to say that I definitely do not have the time to make a mod video for both Skyrim and Fallout 4 each week. So I will be alternating between them. Last week I did a Skyrim mod, so this week will be a Fallout 4 mod. Likely the following week will also be a Fallout 4 mod as well, simply because there will be quite a few I'd like to cover since I haven't done any yet. After that, I will try to do each one every other week, but that will depend on the mods that are available that I feel like covering. Some weeks I might not have a Skyrim mod, for instance, even though it would technically be Skyrim's turn, if you will. So. Instead, I'll do another Fallout, Fallout one, or vice versa. Bas I'm basically just going to go with the flow and with what excites me ins and inspires me. You know, I have to enjoy what I do, and so I'm not going to force myself to cover a mod simply because it's expected on a given day. I have to be excited about it first. <laughs> anyway, either way, you will still be getting a mod spotlight each Friday from now on. The rest of my schedule isn't changing any time in the near future. My Let's Plays will still drop on Tuesdays and Saturdays for Mass Effect, and Thursdays and Sundays for Fallout 4. I'm still working on my Nordhagen Beach settlement build, and those will continue to come out on Mondays. <clears throat> Wednesdays will remain open for random videos if I have one, but often this day will remain blank as sort of my day off. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> so, more often than not, there will not be a video on Wednesday. But if I happen to have an extra build video or a tips and tricks, it will likely go out on Wednesday. I still have a few ideas for tips and tricks for Fallout 4. Although, with the release of mods on PS4, a lot of the tricks have become irrelevant, since there are now mods that do the job a whole lot easier. So, unfortunately, there will come a day when there just won't be any more ideas for fresh tips and tricks. More likely, it will just evolve, and actually is evolving, into just more short builds to give you new ideas. Not exactly tips or tricks, more like inspiration, I guess. So, I hope to keep those coming fairly frequently. Probably not quite once a week, but as often as I have the time, since it requires quite a bit of playing around with stuff to come up with new ideas, and I don't always have the time to do that. I'm also going to start doing some Skyrim tips and tricks as I have time for it. They will, of course, be aimed mostly at people who are new to Skyrim, but hopefully veteran players will find them interesting too. 
If you have any ideas for Skyrim tips and tricks videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I have a few ideas so far, but more are always welcome, especially if it allows me to combine several similar ideas together into one video. Another short series I'm starting, which won't be regular, but just when possible, is a sort of spin-off of my Fallout 4 Let's Play. If you've watched my Let's Play, you know that my character, Shane, is building up the County Crossing settlement and calls it the Hub. I was going, um, well, I was doing the building within the Let's Play episodes, but some people complained about that. Since they watch my Let's Play for the Let's Play and don't really care about settlement building. I understand that. It's just, you know, because just because you enjoy one doesn't mean you enjoy the other necessarily. Not to mention that it was severely cutting into the gameplay time in each episode, basically cutting the episodes in half. So I've decided to upload the build segments as their own separate series called Let's Build the Hub. These will be released in chronological order along with the regular Let's Play episodes. So basically, if Shane spends any time in the hub between episodes, that's when I'll do the building and the build video will be uploaded before the next Let's Play episode. Then if you are interested in the building and just want to see good old-fashioned gameplay, you can totally skip the build videos. But I will be doing quick tours of what I build at the beginning of the Let's Play episodes, so you still won't miss out on the results anyway. Okay, so hopefully I didn't ramble too much and that wasn't impossible to understand. Um, I'm also going to be putting together a compilation of what I've previously built at the hub that happened during the Let's Play. Some people have asked if I could do that so it's easier to find and reference since it's difficult to wade through the multiple dozens of Let's Play episodes to find them. So that will be the first video in this new hub series with the second video immediately after. I'm hoping to release both of these tomorrow, actually, before the next Let's Play episode on Thursday. Hopefully I can manage to do that. <laughs> anyway, also <clears throat> in the same vein of my Fallout 4 Let's Play, and I did touch on this a bit in my mod talk that I did the other day, in which I talked about mods and how I'd be <clears throat> implementing them into my Let's Play. I've been eagerly awaiting mods to try out to make my Let's Play more interesting and different. Obviously, with the restrictions of the PS4, I won't likely have any mods that drastically change the look or feel of my game. Probably most of the mods I'm going to end up using you won't even notice are there most of the time. Most of them will likely be settlement mods for the hub, but as of the making of this video, there aren't a whole lot of really good gameplay mods available yet, but I'm sure there will be eventually. My Let's Play is also where I'll have the most time to test any mods I want to do reviews on, killing two birds with one stone, as it were. <laughs> so sometimes mods I'll try out I may end up not liking and won't keep forever. But whatever I install, um, whenever I install a new mod, I will do a short video before that episode where I talk about the mod and how I'm going to be using it and why I've decided to use it and so forth. That way all this mod talk won't take minutes out of the actual gameplay episode. And you can also choose to watch it or not depending on your interest. Speaking of mods, a lot of people have been very curious how I'm going to be implementing settlement mods in my build videos. So I'll address that while we're on this subject. I'm going to be keeping the mods to a minimum in my builds, simply because I like the vanilla look of the settlements and I don't really want to change it too much. Of course, with the restrictions on the PS4, there won't be just a whole lot of visual changes anyway. But just for the record, you're not going to catch me using a whole lot of non-vanilla wall pieces or some such. You're not going to see me use mods that add a ton of pre-war buildings. I don't think those are immersive or lore friendly. Basically, if a settler couldn't build it or get their hands on the pre-built pieces, I won't use it. The lighthouse in the unlocked settlements, uh, settlement items mod, for instance. The settlers would not likely build a lighthouse that looks so nice and, well, pre-war. They really wouldn't have any reason to build one either, so I won't be using that. And don't even get me started on the buildable Bunker Hill monument. 
Honestly, I don't understand why they put that in the mod. It's not at all lore-friendly or realistic to have that monument anywhere else in the world. Anyway, I'm dangerously close to a tangent now. <laughs> so what mods will I be using? Well, I'm already using a few. So far, I've got unlocked settlement items, which lets you build most of the items that are already in the game such as vehicles, containers, furniture, and stuff like that, that wasn't included in the vanilla build menu. I have no problem using these because, well, aside from the pre-war buildings and monuments, they are all stuff that settlers and my character would have access to and the ability to move to settlements or dismantle and reassemble at a settlement. And a lot of the items are just so darn useful. I'm also using OC Decorator, so I can uh, more quickly decorate my settlements, allowing me to finish them sooner and get the tours done in a timely manner, yeah? <laughs> um, I like that this mod doesn't just let you build absolutely everything whenever you want. You actually have to ha physically have the item first. Also, I've got a mod that lets you scrap rubble and debris and bushes, skeletons, and even dead ghouls. I love this mod, and it was my most anticipated mod of all time, actually. This mod will let me build in places I've never built before, like Croup Manor and Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I never liked building there because of the dead ghouls everywhere all the time. Now I can! Yay! <laughs> also, I've got a mod that lets me plant all the plants in the game, even the wild ones and it allows you to craft all the beverages, but I wanted it for the plants, because now I can make pretty flower gardens and stuff like that. Just another thing to make my settlements look different, but still very lore-friendly. And those are basically the mods I'm using for settlement building so far. There will likely be more coming out all the time, and I will of course be always updating you on which ones I'm using in each of my build videos. And I'll always have the links to the mods in my load order down in the description of my videos so you can find them for yourself. On a similar vein, Skyrim mods and a Skyrim Let's Play. Well, as I said before, I won't be starting a Skyrim Let's Play until sometime in December, or maybe later, after I get my new PC. It's getting close! I had decided a long time ago that I wasn't going to do a Let's Play of Skyrim on the PS4 simply because of the mod limitations and I really wanted to use a lot of mods in my Let's Play. I have ideas for my character and his or her story and I will need complex mods to tell it properly, mods that will never be available on PS4. So it's still going to be a little while before I start that series since I have to get it, get the PC first. But I expect to get it in the beginning of December, so just a week or so away. Wow. But then I've got to get it all set up, install Skyrim, install mods, and some mods might not even be available yet for the special edition, so it will still be a while even after I get the PC before I can start the Let's Play. But I'm hoping it will be no later than the beginning of January. Maybe sooner, depending on how everything goes, but I'm projecting the beginning of January. Okay, let's talk about non-Bethesda games for a bit. I'm still doing my Mass Effect Let's Play. It doesn't get even half the views my, my Fallout Let's Play gets, but that's, a, that's understandable. Since most of you guys subscribed for my Fallout 4 content, and that's okay, I'm definitely not playing Mass Effect for the views. <laughs> I'm doing it because I love the game and wanted to play it again, and doing it in a Let's Play was the only way that was going to happen in my hectic schedule. The only games I play these days are the games I'm, I'm Let's Playing. Mass Effect, however, is starting to wind down, I think. I've got the endgame quests already lined up, I just have to take the plunge. And I'll probably be doing that soon, just because I'm starting to get bored with all the repetitive side quests, to be honest. And I'm also just really eager to start Mass Effect 2, because it's so much better. But, uh, so, anyway, when the time comes, Mass Effect 2 will be taking Mass Effect 1's time slots. As for other games, I want to start live streaming finally! I did a stream last Friday, and several of you guys turned out to watch me build in Fallout 4. That was fun. I want to make it a regular thing now, though, since we finally got Twitch figured out and working. Yay! 
Although I'm still learning the ins and outs to make it perfect. At least it works. So I'm thinking that from now on I'll be doing live streams on Twitch every Friday night at 9.30 Pacific Time. This is the only time slot I have available. I am so sorry. I realize that for most of you guys on the East Coast and in Europe, that's a difficult time slot. Hard to watch a stream when you're sound asleep in bed or getting ready to go to work or whatever. But I will be recording the streams and uploading them to YouTube later, so you'll still get a chance to watch them at least. What will I be streaming? Well, that depends on my mood on any given Friday, I think. Sometimes I'll build something in Fallout 4, sometimes I'll play a random game. Like, I would like to do more of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but I'd also like to do some Dragon's Dogma, or maybe one of the other Assassin's Creed games, or really just anything that suits my fancy. Also, <clears throat> when it finally comes out in February, I will be doing a live Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook because that is where I'll be announcing my live stream times and what I'll be playing. I won't be announcing these on YouTube. I also won't be doing any more live streaming on YouTube and will be moving completely over to Twitch. Twitch just works better and it's a lot easier to save the streams to upload to YouTube later. So. Be sure to go subscribe to my Twitch channel if you want to keep up on my streams. I'll leave the link in the description below. Well, I think that about covers everything I wanted to talk about today. I'm excited for the direction of my channel, you guys, and really looking forward to making all this upcoming content. It's going to keep me busy, that's for sure, but I love doing it. I just want to thank all of you guys, my subscribers, for your support and for bringing my channel as far as it's come. Over 11,000 subs now! That's crazy! I love interacting with all you guys in the comments and on Twitter and Facebook too. Building this little community is my favorite part of having a YouTube channel. You guys make it worth it. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video, and until then, as always, remember to play safe. Play nice and have fun. Bye, guys.